Welcome to this BEC podcast. My name is Rasmus Beg and welcome once again and welcome to two European champions. <laughs> Ladies, last time we saw you at the um, at the BC podcast, you were not the European champions. Now you are <laughs> Stephanie and Gabriela Stoyer sisters. Thank you very much for coming and joining us on the show. Um, first of all, 2018 so far, how has it been for you guys? For us, it's uh, going pretty well. We start the season quite well. We play uh, finals in uh, Swiss. We also play uh, semi final in German, also yeah. all England. We pass the first round, so it starts pretty well. Then we continue with the European Championship. We were fighting for this title <laughs> since three years. So I think for us, the season now it's uh, going pretty good. We are happy with the results which uh, we achieve and we won't stop for sure. We are hunting more and we will continue to work harder. Gabriela, uh, in the elevator up to our studio here, you, you told me it's so cool to be European champions, <laughs> but we really wanted that revenge against Camilla Ruda Yule and, and Christina Pedersen. Uh, being European champion now, you've been here for half a year, a little give or take. <laughs> Uh, how does it feel now to, to be the best in Europe? Um, it's actually it's very hard because now the expectation for us is very high. We was uh, really yeah upset that uh, we cannot uh, play against them on the fi- on the final if we go because uh, they blew out um, just a few days before the European Championship. We want this match revenge. Yes, but uh, yeah, we're uh, very happy for them, especially that uh, Camille is pregnant. This is the best thing which can happen. And uh, we hope if we can meet them uh, in in the future, it will be very good for us. <laughs> if not, uh, we wish them a very good uh, things to happen to them in, in, in this time. I'm 100% sure they're happy <laughs> for that. Uh, and Stephanie, uh, now you are the best on paper in, in Europe. You are the European champions. What kind of pressure does that put on you? Uh, I think because now everybody is uh, looking at us. We are the first uh, double from Europe. But uh, we are not thinking so much. We are not putting pressure on our shoulder. We are all the time focusing for each tournament to do our best. And it's uh, really amazing to see Bulgarian double to be number one in Europe. We are working hard to achieve this uh, and we are happy. Yeah. yeah, Gabriel, what does it actually tell you Bulgaria as number one in Europe in badminton? It's it's a big thing. Uh, not many people expected that, but you guys pulled it out. What does that mean to you? What does that say to you? Um, this means for us uh, that the work which we achieved in the past few years, that the things which we give up and uh, that we cannot be so much with our family and it's uh, giving the results which we want, of course, we want even more then, but uh, we will do step by step and we mm. hope we can win sometimes the World Championship or get medal from the Olympics. That's a big dream. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big dream. Uh, but, but looking at 2018, uh, I understand why you have that dream because you have been doing good in Asia for the first time, actually, to be yeah. fair. Yeah. Stephanie, what was doing, what were you doing, what were you guys doing well? on the Asian tour you, you had in the autumn here in 2018? Uh, I think uh, we improved a lot of our game uh, with the tournaments and every match we learn from our mistakes. And now we are not so worried when we go to Asia with the wind in the hole and everything. Uh, we improve our game and I think this is helping us uh, to when we play against the Asians. So we are not focusing on, uh, more on, on now we will have wind on the one side. This, will, uh, this won't help in our game. We're just focusing in, on each point and to play our best every time. Mm. Yeah, and, 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 and Gabriela, Stephanie says that you have been improving a lot. Mm. But what, what are those small things that you have been improving on? Uh, I think uh, maybe after the uh, World Championship, we took a little rest at home with our family, with our friends. We just enjoy the time there. And I think just need to be a little bit more relaxed, not putting pressure on ourselves. We talk a lot after every lose. Sometimes it's very hard to lose game match, even when you know that you can win. But we work very hard, uh, talk with each other, sometimes fight, but <laughs> this is helping <laughs> us to us. And yeah, we, uh, we improve a lot from the last 
last time in Asia and we are very happy. We reach even uh, for the first time our semi-final in the highest tournament which is possible. So we'll fight for more. Does it make you proud to reach that semi-final? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We were uh, very happy that we can reach this semi-final. And this was the best present for my birthday. Yes. Yeah, it was actually quite a good yeah. birthday present, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, we for sure, we, now we see that we can uh, win and beat some of the best double in the world. And I think we'll f uh, go in every match now and fight until the end of the game and we'll try our best, for sure. Mm. 2019 coming up soon, European mm -hmm. Games as a multi-sport event. Uh, also Olympic qualification coming up soon. A lot of eyes are on Tokyo 2020. Yeah. But you guys, you live in Paris. Uh, <laughs> 2024 Olympics in Paris. Is that a big end goal for you more than Tokyo 2020? Uh, for us, uh, yeah, it's a big goal because now we are living in Paris. <laughs> it's like our second home there. Mm -hmm. But uh, for us, it will be more important first to qualify for the Olympics. For sure, Paris 2024 will be uh, the main main yeah. target for us. For mm -hmm. sure, this will be the main target. And yeah, we will try for this one in Tokyo. We hope we can go our second Olympic. And um, but in Paris, I think it will be more special because we then I think it will be even more years that we are living now in Paris. Mm. And I think the Paris will be more special for us because almost now everything is there for us. Um, sometimes our parents coming, but when you are in one place so long, in one point you are taking for your home, and it will be good if we can qualify for this Olympics and play in front of the people there. Yeah. Do you feel a bit French? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Still not. Still, Still not. not. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's a uh, it's little bit hard for us to feel like French. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we like it a lot. Mm. Um, the culture, the atmosphere there, we're enjoying always when we go back there. Stephanie, uh, you are also ambassador of Bulgaria when you yeah. travel the world. What does that mean to you? Uh, not only as a badminton player, but also when you sit, for instance, here, you are ambassador for Bulgaria. Uh, yeah, for us, it's uh, very important to represent the uh, Bulgarian flag. And we are very proud that we can make the people at home happy with our result and make them proud. We. Every time when we go on tournaments, uh, we are not playing only for our names. We are also playing for our country, especially at the European Championship, uh, World Championship, Olympics. And for sure, next year, the European Games will be a target for us because we, ha we have gold medal from Baku. Mm. So for sure, the European Games will be target for us. And we hope that we can make uh, our parents and family at home proud again. So the European Games, of course, there's also some ranking points for the yeah. European qualification. Mm -hmm. But is is it more to be proud to win the title than gaining the the ranking points? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In um, in Bulgaria, these European Games are um, it's very high tournament mm -hmm. for all sports. So we will be happy again to to take the gold medal again. And for sure, we are going for the gold. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> we're going for the gold. <laughs> And uh, we hope we can pr uh, make proud uh, in Bulgaria all our fans and our family because the main target for sure will be the gold medal in the games. If I look at this uh, back wall here, Christina is here, <laughs> Camilla is here. Uh, they will not be playing you in, in Minsk. Uh, who are the strongest opponent for you if uh, if you should go for that goal? I think every double we uh, have uh, a lot of improvement this year. Um, every double for us will be very tricky. Uh, the Danish Sara and Maike, this will be one of the yeah. toughest opponents. Mm. Which sure everybody me. wants to beat us. Yes, so mm -hmm. I think uh, some of the French doubles yeah. also. They who, who, who do you think? Leah and Delphine? Yeah, even Anne and, um, um, and Emily, Emily yeah. they mm -hmm. also they improve. And it's always mm -hmm. it's tricky when uh, you're on the top, everybody try to beat you and even sometimes it's hard for us because everybody expect for the expectation are very high for us and we need to improve always and show them that we need to beat them so i think it will be very hard for every for us for every match and against every double there
But you would like to play these two? <laughs> yes. Yeah, we are still waiting for our revenge. Yes, we <laughs> wait. We enjoy always to play against them. Uh, we was very happy. I think the European Championship in coaching mm. when we faced them, we was very happy to see that we can uh, play one good level against we them. We can challenge them. Yeah, we can mm. challenge them. And after this, I think come here the yeah. tournament last year, we was very disappointed. We lost against them with. Three match points. Three, three match points yes. you had at Demogorgon in 2017. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and after this we weighed them in the uh, European the Champions. European, yeah. yeah, but then the news come, so mm. still we wait. We wait for our match revenge <laughs> in the future. <laughs> Let's leave it with that. Yes. Let's wrap it all up because that's actually a good note to, to finish on. Yeah. Uh, the Story of a Sisters European Champions. Congratulations once Thank again you. Uh, on that. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll see a lot more from you also in uh, in Asia. Thank you for, for stopping by and good luck. For thank, the you. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. You. And uh, also thank you for watching this BC podcast. Go follow the sisters on uh, social media. You are very active. That's right, right? <laughs> yeah, you are very active. And uh, go follow them. They, they will for sure be, be happy for that as well. Remember also to download our new app, Badminton Live, where you can also get the live results from the Story of Sisters <laughs> if that's what, something that you're interested in. Thank you very much for watching us. Thank you and goodbye.